Today we're going to try to run uh, some LibreOffice programs uh, with multiple instances. Uh, LibreOffice um, is single-threaded. At least I, I think that's the correct terminology. If, if LibreOffice is busy doing some computation for you, all that computation lives inside one thread on your computer. So if you've got multiple threads available, uh, LibreOffice won't take advantage of all of them and it will leave the other ones you know, just sitting there mostly idle. And uh, if you've got uh, LibreOffice calc doing some kind of lengthy computation um, and it's tying up that instance, uh, you should be able to load up a new instance of calc and still do some work while your first one is busy crunching numbers. Problem is, uh, LibreOffice does not, out of the box, doesn't like to work uh, in multiple instances. Um, I'll see if I can demonstrate here. Uh, on my computer, my LibreOffice executable lives in slash opt. Uh, LibreOffice 6.1 slash programs slash program uh, yours will probably be different depending on how you've got your LibreOffice installed but what you're looking for is the S office executable um, so I've got terminal open if I just call LibreOffice. In fact, let's let's try it with calc. So there's LibreOffice calc, and you'll see it says untitled one. Um, and I've got htop running, and you'll see there's there's several processes, but this is this is all the processes that get loaded um, when one instance of LibreOffice is running. So I'm just going to move this out of the way a bit. I'm going to open another terminal. I'm going to go to the same directory. And then if I do just, just plain old S Office again, you'll see uh, it says Untitled 2 and htop is showing the same number of processes. So what this indicates is all we've done is we've told LibreOffice open up a new window of calc but it's not a new instance it's still running in that single thread um, and that's that's what we're gonna have to work around today. So here's what I've got. Um, this is an example for running calc um, as an instance and then being able to run multiple instances. Um, so this part right here, the OPT or opt, LibreOffice 6.1 program S Office. This path here will be um, unique to you. Uh, depending on how you've got LibreOffice installed, uh, you'll need to modify this piece to match the path to get to your S Office executable. In this example, I'm having it run calc, uh, but you can use other uh, programs like Writer or Impress, or just bring up the uh, the just the LibreOffice start screen so you can modify that as you need. Um, the last thing to look for is this stuff here, the user installation uh, file temp s office one. Um, LibreOffice seems to use like a some kind of user profile and I guess it uses that profile to know if it's running already, like if it's already got a process running and if so like keep using that one and not make a new instance 
and making a new instance is what we want. Uh, so what I've tried doing, um, this piece right here, this bit that's after TMP, you can name this to whatever you want. I just put S office and then I just put a number at the end of it. Um, when we call this, when we start loading up multiple instances, all I'm doing is I'm changing this number from 1 to 2 to 3. Um, it That doesn't matter. It, all that matters is that this piece right here is different each time you load up a new instance. So it could be, it could be um, temp slash Bob, temp slash Chris, temp slash Steve, just as long as the whatever, whatever user profile name we're calling it uh, is different. And then I'm putting a, a disown and exit so that when we, when we run this in terminal, um, it'll close the terminal for us. So let's, let's see if that works for us. So I'm just going to open a new terminal from scratch, brand new terminal. And I'm going to copy all of this in right and then I'll hit enter terminal closes LibreOffice calc opens I'm gonna just move this out of the way I'm gonna open a new terminal I'm gonna paste this in again but all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this one for a two just so it's different and hit enter and this time we have two windows and they both say untitled one and if I bring over HTOP you'll see that there are quite a few more instances or you know processes for LibreOffice so I'm gonna try this again so I'm gonna bring up another terminal I'm gonna paste the command in and I'm going to change the one to a three so this will be our third instance Here we go, another another untitled one. So we got a whole bunch of untitled ones. Um, and so that's three instances of LibreOffice running. Um, I'm not sure what side effects this would have uh, compared to how you would normally use LibreOffice, so uh, use it at your own risk and, and be prepared to experiment with it or, or to see some, some unexpected behavior. But that's how you would run uh, multiple instances of LibreOffice on Linux. Thanks for watching.